Hello, it's David from the Pirates. Where I want to show color separations on different t-shirts and how to do it. Um, for example, this design kind of like I don't really want to have the printing of the white here. It's unnecessary. So I'm going to select both this. I'm going to select the t-shirt. I'm going to go to the recolor artwork. I'm going to go to the white color. I'm going to drag this one from the top here to the white color. <clears throat> this is what I want to have printed on this t-shirt. And but like some t-shirts I might want to have printed the actual white too, but not the other color. So for example, this one I want to print the black, but this one I don't want to print the black, but I want to print the white. As I want the black to be the same as the t-shirt. So <clears throat> for this specific design, I I really want to do all four colors. Uh, so I want to do full colors for this one. So I'm just going to copy both artworks. I'm going to make a new document. I'm going to do it 100 by 100 centimeters. That's what I do normally. It doesn't matter what size it is as long as it's big enough. So I'm just going to put this here and here. And I'm going to do a lines line here. I'm going to use one centimeter and this angle I'm going to use is 90 degrees. And you're going to use a fill line. This is obviously always going to do the wrong thing. It's going to have, you're going to have a stroke, but also the fill color. So the fill color, the color I want to make to no color. So I want to copy that. So I'm using control C here, control C. But instead of just normal pastes and uh, control B because that would be in the center of the screen I normally use paste in front control F and that makes it drop in the exact same place where the last one was so now I want to just uh, uh, make the second one the one I copied uh, to be in this angle, I'm holding shift so it doesn't get wicked. And I'm going to use a circle tool here. I'm going to hold this in. So you get this here. You see, this is not really straight right now, but that's okay. I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to go to align here in the bottom, center, and center. I'm going to group that so I have that as a group. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to control C, control F. So I have the same one. I hold shift in and drag it down so they're both in the same place. Doesn't need to do that exactly, but that's just how I do it. I select both uh, markers and the artwork. And I make sure I align them to center because that's what the t-shirt printers are. And uh, my printing staff are going to use as a center. So if I didn't really want this to be center, I wanted it to that to be the center, that's what you're gonna center in the t-shirt, this line here. But I wanted it to be center, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make that into a group, but I normally use uh, a code, and uh, just so my staff knows what they're doing, I do have the full code here, we don't need to talk about the fabric color because it might be different. Uh, and the style might be different. So we don't need a code. The only thing we need is the client and abbreviation. So it's TPW, the pirate way, and the sign 01, TPV standard. So I just add that in there. Actually, I'm just going to, I just cut that out and enter the group and then I put it in there. You don't have to do it in exactly this order but now they're all in one group. So let's start with this one. I'm gonna I made a copy control C and a control F and I press and shift uh, holding this and press shift make sure that they're not overlapping. So 
now I want to make one screen for each one screen is for one column so I'm gonna enter the group and I'm gonna delete all colors that this design don't need so for example if I want to do the first color so the white one I'm just double check it's black so I'm gonna drag this white on there so this is one screen so let's do the next one and the next one will be black uh, I'm pressing control Y to see how all artwork see, looks because I can't see on the second one exactly where all the artworks are here so they're not overlapping but they're not overlapping so I'm gonna press V tool V for this one selection tool and I'm gonna select this group only go to the recolor artwork so I already did white so now it's time for the black so I'm gonna move the white color for this and now I got the second screen uh, I, I noticed the document is not long enough I could go further down but I'm not gonna so you can either go click document setup and edit artworks uh, I normally use shift O on my keyboard it's much easier than clicking those two buttons so I'm just gonna do the next one control C control F make sure these are not overlapping they are overlapping so I'm gonna move them a little bit further apart control zero so I see the whole artwork I'm gonna go into this one so I'm not selecting the, the markers so I don't change those colors so I only did the white, I only did the black so now it's time for the red and now I the rest of the colors I fill in with white so that's the third color I'm gonna print or depending on what t-shirt it is so again I'm making another one I control C control F and control Y to see artwork that is even hidden making sure they're not overlapping control Y again so I do see exactly how the artwork looks like I select this group I recolor the group so this is white, this is white, and now it's the blue. So those uh, four colors are the main colors of that print. So I don't need this anymore. And now I can do the second one. So I'm going to copy this and this. Go out of this group. I'm going to add this here. Make sure that this one and this one are centered so my staff know what is the center of the, the artwork I'm gonna copy and paste in place that marker make sure this is all one group and actually because this is only two colors I can only like just do this one I just copy it and paste it again and uh, just here I swap the colors and now I have both colors for the front and both uh, all three colors uh, four colors for the back and this is how you do color separation and before I save it I select all by pressing control A or select all control A here and then go to type and create uh, create outlines that this change all fonts to be actually a vector of vector objects so that means that even if the printer that's printing the screen even if it doesn't have the font that is available that we are using in this artwork he still can print this without actually us sending in the font uh, I, for me I normally save them at the date the month and day and then the name of the client so this is the pirate way and I save that and